Hi, in this lecture we're going to speak about congenital trigger thumb. Uh, what are the objectives? Uh, first, we would like to discuss the pathology and the clinical presentation of congenital trigger thumb. Next, we're going to speak about the prognosis, uh, especially in relation to the age of presentation. And uh, last thing, we're going to speak about treatment options for congenital trigger thumb. A good source that you can use is this book, Pediatric Orthopedic Handbook for Primary Care Physician, written by myself and Dr. Naga. So what is the pathology? Uh, as you can see in this picture, this is a child with congenital uh, trigger thumb. Uh, he has a flexion deformity of the interphalangeal joint, the IP uh, of the thumb. However, the pathology is actually not here. The pathology is here at the level of the metacarbophalangeal joint. At that level, there is uh, the A1 pulley. The A1 pulley is a fibrous band that goes across the tendon sheath of the length flexor of the thumb, which is the flexor pollicis longus. And uh, there is a mismatch between the size of the uh, tendon, the flexor pollicis longus, and the A1 pulley. So the pathology is at the level of the uh, metacarbophalangeal joint uh, where the A pulley, uh, A1 pulley is. Uh, and it is a mismatch between the A1 pulley size and the flexor pollicis longus uh, tendon. Uh, usually there is uh, a nodule at the level of the flexor pollicis longus, uh, it's called a not a node or not a nodule, um, and this uh, nodule is in the tendon, in the flexor pollicis uh, longus tendon, uh, and it can be felt uh, at the level of the metacarbophalangeal joint. If you can see here, uh, this is uh, where uh, the nodule is, and you, uh, it's easily felt in most cases. So despite we call it congenital trigger thumb, uh, most authors uh, now uh, consider the condition as developmental and not congenital uh, because there were good prospective studies that failed to uh, see any case of congenital trigger thumb uh, in newborn. Uh, so most authors now consider the condition as developmental condition in which the condition developed uh, early in life and not during birth. So what is the clinical presentation? As we said, the diagnosis is usually not done at birth. It's usually done around the four, uh, at the age of four to six months of age. Sometimes it's, uh, parents present uh, later. Um, as we said, the, uh, the hallmark of the condition is a flexed position of the IP of the interphalangeal joint of the thumb, as you can see in this picture. So this patient has a flexion contracture. I'm trying hard, very hard to uh, extend his thumb, but I cannot because there is a flexion contracture here. Uh, again, as we said in, in the pathology, the pathology is not here. The pathology is the level of the metacarbophalangeal joint with mismatch between the A1 pulley and the flexor pollicis uh, tendon. Um, and as we said before, usually there is an you'll heal cord not a node in the flexor pollicis longus tendon that can be filled in case. So after discussing the pathology and the clinical presentation, let's now speak about the prognosis. Uh, so in children presenting uh, at the age of nine months, um, they have about one third chance of spontaneous resolution of their congenital trigger thumb. However, if they present at the age of one year, uh, this 30% chance dropped to about 10% chance. Uh, uh, children who's presenting with trigger uh, thumb um, uh, older than three years old, um, in uh, the vast majority of cases, they will not improve spontaneously, and these kids need children. Uh, children presenting, however, after the age of four years old uh, have a 50% chance uh, of ha developing permanent flexion contracture even with surgery. So uh, if a family present to, um, with a child is about five years old, uh, when we discuss with them the prognosis, uh, we have to tell them that even uh, with release, uh, the child may So have, after we discuss uh, the, the pathology, clinical presentation and prognosis, let's speak about treatment options. So for children less than 12 months, uh, the treatment is stretching exercises. Uh, however, if by the age of 12 months there is no improvement, especially if this child has a period uh, of stretching exercises, um, uh, surgery can uh, be considered. Uh, for children older than 24 months, uh, all these children will need surgery. Uh, the surgery is a release of the A1 pulley. Uh, there is no need to excise the node uh, because the node will uh, spontaneously resolve after release of the A1 pulley. Uh, so this is an example. So this child has a, a, a congenital trigger thumb. Uh, if you can see, this is the other side. It can be fully extended. Uh, this is the affected side. I'm trying to um, uh, extend the thumb. I cannot because of the flexion contracture. Um, so the surgery is a small incision uh, over the A1 pulley and release of the A1 pulley, as you can see here. And with the release, uh, the um, thumb uh, was uh, fully extended.
thank you very much. All my videos are for education purpose only. Please consult your doctor before a 